there, Internet. Version 2 here with Let's Play Monster Hunter World Iceborne. You may notice I'm wearing the Tigrex armor. Somewhat, to a little extent. I've still got my same weapon. Still got my sword and shield. I'm not confident in any other weapon to do that. I also realized in between videos um, how I just went immediately bad with the hammer before. I realized I, yeah, most of my experience with hammers has actually been a multiplayer, where it's way easier to attack the enemy. Uh, so that's why. Whoopsies. Um, yeah, so now that I'm get like, we're going to be getting to the harder, brand new monsters and trying to do new weapons for that is tough. Um, I don't know. I can't promise any more new weapons until then. Um, once we get to end game, because it'll be end game, end game, end game. No new expansions coming out. Uh, I might try and like, I, I, I want to be able to like do at least one video on every weapon type, but I think I might save that till the end of the game, like proper, so I can just build a full big ass set for it that's super well catered for it and everything like that. And I know all the monsters at least, so I like at least somewhat know the movement patterns and new monsters. I might switch to Lance and uh, switch axe though, throughout the rest of the story, cause I'm way more confident with those than I am with hammer or anything else. But. Back to what I actually started saying. I'm wearing Tigrex stuff. Ew. Um, attack boost on there is not super necessary, but we've got a lot of earplugs from those parts there and some speed eating. Critical eye on the Odogaron coil, because I made that as well. And Barath Grooves, which I've had these um, for a bit, because level 2 side resistance and that many slots is awesome. So, similar to what my Rathian set did, where it's got full critical eye and weakness exploit except now instead of trying to build to do critical damage because my Natura Florin fluorescence already has 450 poison damage uh, we've built for ebug sun resistance health boost um, speed eating instead and also free meal is the extra skill you unlock free meal secret the type for the Tigrex Tigrex stuff so now I have a 50% chance of not consuming an, um, any items. And also with just the fact that Tigrex stuff has earplugs and speed eating on it as much as it does, I am absolutely going to try and make a wide range set for this fucking thing. Because holy shit, earplugs and 75% chance of not consuming an item is pretty good. It does require three Tigrex pieces, but again, earplugs. Just, and speed eating. I'm pretty sure the pants even have speed eating. Um, even more of it. Um, and because of the way upgrades charms work, I've checked the wide range charm. You can level it up to level 5. So I can just put on a charm and get 5 skill points of, um, wide range. So you can turn any set into wide range now by just chucking on that charm. And it's five slots. It's not like you're wasting any slots by putting it on your charm. It's fucking five. Not many others can go up to five. Some of them can go up to three and four. A lot of them can do that, actually. Mushroom Ants can go up to three now, which is exciting. Um, but fuck, man, that's, oh, that's great. Hey, partner. I think there was also a piece somewhere else that was like wide range of Mushroom Ants on the same thing. So I was like, the wide range ideas, especially for the way I played wide range in the base game, which is just Mandragoras for eating a bunch of things. Um, and Devil Blight to help everyone and then just healing everyone else's sword and shield was it worked really well So I'm really excited to do that. Leave the tracker to me. You take care of that Legiana. The quest is called when the mist take a few I have noticed since We've needed to take this quest probably because I interrupted a cutscene Well, I started the fight and then I left because it was part of the assigned uh, just the expedition stuff um, The handler hasn't spoken to me once when I've come back to Seliana saying now we just need to do these next missions because, well, it's kind of already started, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We're hunting a shrieking Legiana, like we saw at the end of the last thing. Also, the tracker is just in a giant fucking hole in the ground, and the handler's gonna try and get her out. Somehow. I don't know how, but somehow. Um, should I just, like, eat my attack up ones here that have the Moxie on there just for the chance of getting the Moxie? I also have insurance there. Just absolutely guarantee I don't fail this quest. Eh, I like the writer. Didn't even get it. Fucking sick. Uh, I have like 140 fucking meal vouchers. I should just use them. I have so goddamn many. 
Because they were, I mean, one, I hardly used them. I used them for Arch Shepherd stuff and certain team fights, like Extreme Earth, your um, fucking Ancient Legend, stuff like that. But for the most part, I never used it because I never relied on it. Um, also, it took me about 350 hours before I actually made custom meals that had skills on them that I liked. And also, there's that one event quest, um, Green in the Gluttons, which gets you about four meal vouchers every time you do it. And it has bird wyverns and flying wyverns as part of that quest with Puke Puke and Palumia. So it was a really good quest to knock off, like, do an event quest for uh, this day. Plus, also, if you need to hunt a bird or a thing like that, it would just also knock those Liana. out. Leave finding the tracker to me. Will do. Um, it's weird that she's just, like, at the base saying that because I fucked it up. But it's fine. I'll know if, I, if they want me to go on an expedition somewhere for a story beat. I will wait until I record the next episode to do it. Because this is, yes, kind of awkward. Um, so yeah, just with it. Oh, right. I actually have to. I picked it up. I didn't actually eat it, did I? That's the wrong thing. Thank you. Thank you for the sick rolls. Oh, it's so fucking good to be back with speed eating and um, earplugs. I hardly used earplugs in the base game. I had some sets that had it. I had the big coward set, um, which I fought No Gigante with, which I think I put on earplugs for that. I know I had tremors. I think I had tremors. I don't think I had earplugs there. Um, but now, I because I've just built it a lot into this, because it's actually been really easy. There's been a lot of early game pieces that give a lot of earplug stuff, and also I have a lot of decorations for it, and level 4 decoration slots happen very frequently. Oh, also... Stand in this for long enough, you notice the ice builds up to you. If it builds up to your head, it inflicts with ice blight. I noticed that during a barrier fight, speaking of. But now that I have earplugs, it's like once I ha built. Bleh, once I built basically every single set. I just went here because this is where we fought it before. I didn't actually. Oh, wait, or was it up? Or was it up there? Did we go up that far? I don't know. I did one quest and I ended up here fighting a Tigrex, I think. I think I ended up here fighting a Tigrex. I think. Yes, it is up here. Okay. <laughs> but yes, this is... Now, I, I've played so m many, much of the game. I've definitely played way more of the game with speed eating and sun resistance than I've played without. I've 100% gotten to that point. That without those things, I'm... I know what to do. I mean, I never not put on sun resistance. Sun resistance applies to every single fight in the game, and it is one of the worst things to happen when it happens to you. Stun resistance, I always build for it. I don't think I'm ever not going to build for it, because getting stunned is the worst. Uh, like, it's just something that I'm just... I don't accept it. No, I'm not letting that happen. Um, goodbye. Whoa, okay. Your ice attacks have become even more vicious. I mean... Design-wise, your skin's a bit darker, and it looks like you've frosted over a little bit being in the whole frost range. But that seems to be the main difference. I wonder, are these some of are these some Ligiana that are native to the whole frost range? Or do whole frost range or do Ligianas that come here become the shrinking Ligianas? Because they're because it literally looks like Ligiana frozen over. And the color is slightly different. I think the blue is a bit darker. So it might just might this might also just be one that's native here. Maybe they're the ones that are native here, and the shrieking is because of their singing, and it's the singing of these ones that attracted the ones from Astera over to there. I shouldn't say Astera. Astera is the name of the hub. Yeah, I should say the new ones. <laughs> this isn't part of the new world. But also just the new world's terrible. Also, uh, when I pointed at like the area that I went to with Tigrex, no, it was actually this here. My Tigrex ended up here. Actually, no, I think where I pointed before, where, the, before is where it ended up first, and then it ended up here second. Oh, hi, Barrier! Sup? I saw you climbing up the hill. Drinking like Yana, Turf War. With who, may I ask? Hey! Okay. Okay. Oh! Get in their barrier. Equal damage to each other. Sometimes one does more than the other. That was exactly equal. Turf War shit's so fucking cool. I love it so much. Apparently it's new to this game. 
I don't know how true that is. Again, when people tell me about old games, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I haven't played any of them. I'm not 100% sure, obviously. But I'm apparently Turf War is in this game. Which I, I, can, I can see if it's, if it's brand new to this game, why people who played a bunch of the old games would find Turf Wars even more sick than I do. It's just like, oh my god, these monsters we've been fighting for so long. Like, for so many, across so many games. And now we get to see what they're like when they take on each other. Hell yeah. You ready? Oh, hey! It's like the other things where they sink in a little bit. Well, I mean, I sh if I had done it when you're on the ground, it would have been a, a lot better. I'm still not 100% sure with the perfect rush combo. Like, it was said to be it's good for element damage. Is it good for element damage just because it is so many attacks? Not what I meant at all. Um, is it good because it's, it does so many attacks? Or... Oh, wow, I actually knocked you out. Or do these attacks for perfect rush actually do extra element damage to them? I mean, the fact that you were poisoned when I mounted you and now you're poisoned again makes me think that they do extra element damage. Or ailment damage compared to just even your normal attacks with sword and shield. Which sword and shield already one of the ones that's better at in, uh, inflicting ailments because of how, how many attacks it has. Fuck. Fill that up. Oh, you're leaving? Bye! I gotta have resuscitate on this build, and I just. Does it make any difference, really? Power cone. Huh. Just an item that you, like, like a wiggly litchy or something, but it increases your attack. Ooh, wait. Wait. This is totally a new base. This is totally a new base. I think yeah! Let's ask the head honcho. Fuck yeah. What's down that side? Nice big pool to catch some little fishies. Actually, those are very different. I don't even think I've seen those fishies before. Sorry to distract from the hunting of the Legiana. I'm gonna catch that little fish. Mm. Oh, it's gunpowder fish. Oh, I didn't realize that's what the gunpowder fish looks like. All right, well, we're all good. <laughs> Those types of items are the one thing that I don't have on any um part of this thing. Oh, Whoa, hi. no, no one's here. <laughs> no, no one's here. It's fine. Move along. I don't know if I've shown that since I've changed it. I mean, I, I didn't really, I don't think I ever went out of the way to show off the first radial menu that I crafted. But um, yeah, I deleted like every radial menu and everything that I did because I felt like it was just, I made them such a long time ago when I was using different items that it wasn't applicable now, especially like with uh, adamant um, and like adamant seeds, armor drugs, demon drugs, things like that. But I've now got like all curing and everything here, regardless of whether it's fucking hot drink, cold drink, a syrup jerky, all of that, and even energy drink is here too for the thing I really carry. They're all here now, dust of life is always here. Traps and tools are now in the same spot with my bombs. Dung pods are just there because sometimes I will want them because I hate fighting two monsters at once. And those are there. Prep and buff is all here. Holy fucking shit! The sound of streaking Legiana. Wow. I also forgot to pull one of those in. So yeah, I've got all this. There's my drugs uh, there. Things like that. Um, they're all there. Raider Rides there. And crafting. Uh, now crafting is now under my communication thing. I have three things to communicate. Nice to meet you. Hello and signals. Whoops. <laughs> um, but I figured I'm not really using most of those things. I'm basically only using... The, ha like the happy face thing when I'm actually talking to people. Whoa, there's an normal Guiana. Oh, was that what the sound was? Both of them at once? But, um, so yeah, I've just like completely restructured it. And that should work for basically any set that I have. Like, side differences depending on whether I had trap tools, whether I was, um, like whether I had bombs and some sets, some sets had the heal it, like the things to heal statuses, some didn't. And it's just, you know what? I I ended up getting into a point in the base game where I made a lot of mistakes trying to use this by not knowing where my shit was. And I just wanted to avoid that entirely, which I'm not even fighting. 
that one. Will these two have a turf war or are they friends? Also, there are normal Legiana here. So it makes me think that Shrink and Legiana are native to the reach. And they were falling towards the others. <laughs> See what I can do. I can try and claw you can. Get the fuck down here! Hey, ass bag! Cool, you can! <laughs> they even bring you down. I don't think logical attacks knock anyone down at all. Well, they're good for attacking once it's in the air, but. I'm not great. There we go. But now I have the pods! Now I can shoot the crap out of you! Can I knock you down a bit? Pull you again! Pull you can start to pull off. Do you have to have the weapon out? Oh, the weapon has to be out for the pull you can pull it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! What's up, boys? Oh, drinks one off. Spot of that. Did I have it? I did. I just made it. Huh! The Yana materials are there. Get down here! Oi! Get on the ground, stay on the ground. Get okay, Barry, you're getting in the way now. You get attacked because you're in the way. Whoa, Barry of Tornadoes, I forgot about those things. Gonna pop this, there we go. Oh, I wasn't actually on myself. Whoa, Legiana's head's freaking out over there. I can see it. I saw it, we all saw it. Oh my god. Oh my god, shrinking Legiana is even more airborne than the other. Ow. Barrier! I really need to carry dumb I should just put that onto my normal fucking bills. I fucking hate. I fucking hate fighting multiple monsters at once. It's the same thing as like fighting on a team that I have a problem with sometimes where it's just, if the enemy isn't solely focused on me, it can be hard to tell. I, I didn't mean that. It can be hard to tell where their fuck you, their attack's gonna be um, coming from and where they're gonna be going. Said when I'm on a team, at least I know if they're attacking other people, then I'll sneak up behind him and, and, and hit him in the butt and everything. When it's two monsters attacking each other, I just don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Oh my god, Barrier. Fuck off. Why I need to say the monsters. Do I have, where's my me? Do I have me on any of this? I don't even have steak on any of this. An idiot. The fuck is it in my item bar? Next there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I don't know whether it's a change bit like with the new game or like or I'm just doing more quests I'm noticing it. Or if there's a thing of just the more stamina you use that happens more and because I'm rolling more I'm noticing it. My maximum stamina goes down so much more than it ever used to. Again, I'm not a hundred percent sure of the reason why. Also, get the fuck on the ground, thing. No, that's not on the well. Reason why I really fuck you, Ugh, fuck you, stop it. Where to go? You know what I'm gonna do? Break your fucking head. That uh wasn't your head, I guess. God, I'm so fucking bad. Send me up. Wee! Nope, nope. That didn't uh. Actually, do what I wanted it to. I guess I need to glad him in to be able to do that. <laughs> oh, someone brought you down. I don't know what. Thank you. I'm attacking something. I'm attacking. Little toes, I think. Urgh, get out of here. Urgh. Urgh. I'm so bad at the floor. Well, I need to get better at identifying when is a good moment to use the floor. I need to be able to just. 
aim a bit better because there's that whole thing of just if you hit the enemy's head, you'll um you knock him into a wall with slinger burst stuff, and it's just like I thought I had that then. I didn't. Well, now I have these again. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. Hey, nice. So I didn't go into a wall, and I know into a wall does a lot of damage, but it got you out of the fucking sky. Fuck, man. <laughs> Even trying to take advantage of when they go into the sky feels hard. Urgh. Oh, sorry, when they're on the ground. It feels hard, like, up and up for attack. Urgh. Like, Lance? That's a weapon that fucking works really well with the clutch floor. Because the Lance has a counter attack that, um, clutches you onto the enemy. And when you clutch onto the enemy with the clutch, um, with the clutch counter, you're guaranteed the weakening of the spot. And also, just because of the whole nature of the lance. The whole point of what you want to be doing with the lance is very, very precisely aiming at particular spots on the enemy. Hey, guess what <laughs> weapon takes advantage of creating weak spots on an enemy? Fucking the weapon that does that. And I'm being the crab at like, you know, just when it's not in the fucking sky, it's, <laughs> it's uh, a bit annoying to get done. Obsidian uh, Ice Tail makes me think that the colouring is actually meant to be darker on, on them. If their colouring is named as Obsidian. Okay. I also realised that Clutch Claw is really fucking good at killing these flying little asshole Vespoids and Cortos and everything like that. And go away, Legiana. Go away, Legiana. Go away, Legiana. I'm so fucking glad I have earplugs so I can run away from monsters better like this. Go away, Legiana. Go away, Legiana. You're not listening to me. Fuck, man. I also feel like that happens way more frequently in this, uh, than the base game. Just being unable to get away from monsters. And just no matter where you are, monster, like... I feel like in Iceborne, mon other monsters are way more attractive to other fights that are happening. Oh, God. Okay. Um... And we'll come in and like be like, oh, there's a fight going on? I want me in on that. And I feel like monsters do that a lot more in this. They've got a warrior spirit to them. Not as present as in the base, in the base game. Okay. So when they roar, I know is a fucking great time to, to do that. That's something that's really good with the earplugs. Just while you're in the sky, just like, what else am I gonna do? I can't flash mod you out of the sky anymore, it's master rank. That doesn't work anymore. You also both need to stop being right now. You're both assholes! Okay, you're a pirate. Did I wound your head? No. The two hits were too far apart to do that. I think I thought, like, one, like, with, with the clutch tool when it comes to sword and shield, one, Sword and Shield's attack for the Clutch Claw is time consuming because you have to like get three swings of the sword and then a uh, stab in. It's like the mounting attack or it's just oh, fuck me. Takes a while to actually fucking do it. So you need more time than other weapons. Or at least it fucking feels that way. Maybe just other weapons have a harder time being shaken up. They have your weapon. You need to go away. Yo, I fucking hate fighting multiple monsters at once. I really do. Like, I actively dislike it. <laughs> well, that's the ammo came out, so I guess I weakened that spot. If only you were on the ground! Oh, fuck, that's blade. Ah, uh, shrinking like Iana? Way more likely to stay in fucking air. Shrieking Legiana doesn't fucking land on the ground ever, it seems. Get off it! Can't hit your face into a fucking ball in a second! That was on the head. <laughs> Fuck. Thinking I am on the head, and I'm not. Fuck. You all suck! <laughs> 
Can I grab, free grab these stones? No. Damn it, okay. Mulberries, free meal, thank you. The, the, like, neither of them have left. One of you needs to go away. Fuck off. Oh my god. Fuck off. Fuck. Just leave. Get the fuck out of here, you assholes. Like, especially when they're both flying, it's just like, I can't even do anything when there's only one of you in your fly. There are certain times where I don't like sword and shield. This time right now is one of them. I just feel like there's not much I can do. Keep not grabbing the head and just attacking that sweet fucking tender neck. Oh no, I thought the other Legiana left. Nope, other Legiana still being a dick. I was gonna clutch door attack you just so I could get some fucking slinger ammo and try to knock the other one out of the sky. Uh, didn't work! Fuck off! Oh my god! I really need to carry down clutch with me. I really do! This is the worst! Just fuck off! Oh my god! Thank you! You piece of garbage shit back! There we go! Dicks! Eat them and I'm almost out of stamina. Oh cool! Hot drink for them. Perfect timing. Exactly when I wanted it to. Urgh! Oh, try and roar at me. See what fucking happens. Alright, I have earplugs. Yeah! You're still not even like wounded, are you? God damn it. Uh... Okay. It's just trying to deal with multiple at once, just so. Fucking right. You right there? Oh! Okay. I, uh. I'm confused, but alright. Alrighty, oh, okay. Hey, I guess that was how that worked. All right, okay. I was already at your home base. I found the tracker. Let's hurry on over. Yay, you found the tracker. Nice. Logging on a normal. I swear to fucking god, you better fuck off right this goddamn second. I'm mining in peace. Fuck off. Can I get third? Yeah, I got third. Oh. Just trying to fire multiple monsters at once is my nightmare. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I mean, when they're both flying, it doesn't help. The fact that she's alive shows that full damage doesn't exist in Monster Hunter. I mean, also the fact that there's no full damage in Monster Hunter shows that there's no full damage in Monster Hunter, but you know. Well, she's only injured because of the other ice hitting her as she fell down. You can save me again. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad. But really, I knew you would be. There's got to be something going on with these two. Like, these two specifically together. It's like... Is scare, huh? Like, I'm assuming that the grandfather of the handler that gave her that piece of there... You know, you remind me of myself. ...knows the tracker. Or knew the Always tracker, finding a way to the truth. Vulcana's thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we found this. I don't know what it is, but we found it. You're always looking to guide the way. Take a look. More writings from my master's studies. The song, the monster's behavior, they're affecting the ecosystem. Seismic action, the old everworm. I'm out of time. My story is That's a new word. <laughs> old everworm? The ecosystem. Old everworm. Is this? About Velcana? Man, if I knew enough about my fantasy stuff, here. I knew what the you word worm meant, but it's alright. You're right. Its home must be here somewhere. I mean, it would make you sense. It's the cold place. So, who's in? 
Well, of course us. Yeah. I'm in. I want to learn more about Velcana. Together we can solve this mystery and make history. By murdering the shit out of it. That monster is growing in power. Yeah, it keeps freezing itself over. We can't do something after now. Let's head back and regroup first. Okay. Yay, we did it! Rhyme died, cry sad. I don't even know if I thought of Master Rank normal again, like, yeah, now that I think about it. Like, I'm not actually sure if I have. So I don't even know. I oh, no, I must have, because I've seen what the. Oh, actually, I was about to say. Because I've seen what the armor looks like. Hey! Nice! <laughs> Level 4, 2 range. Um, 2 wide range. Helpful. Master Rank 13, Drink the Giana. I was about to say, I've seen the armor set for. Um. Master rank thing. What's it called? What's the name of the Ah fuck! Well it's a hard Oh sorry, my brain's forgetting every sentence. I ha I have seen the master rank armor of the Legiana. So that must mean I afford it, but that's not true because some of the ones in the base game just appeared as armor sets so you didn't have to fight them. Also, what's a variant monster? I mean, clearly it's what we just fought, but what's the difference between a variant monster and a subspecies monster? Is there a difference? Because it says on your first variant monster, but I fought a Coral Puke Puke and a Nightshade Palumu and a type, um... Type of Vopi Kadachi, as I went to say, because fuck words, they're bad. I don't like them. I say, ironically, despite the fact that my job and my hobby job, this is the hobby job, by the way, both almost exclusively is not this is talking, and that's it. Fucking, I'm so great at it that everyone loves me for it, and I'm always fantastic at it. Always. Always. Don't mind me, I'm just cracking various parts of my body while this very long learning screen waits. Eventually it'll... It always gets stuck at the end here. In short, Valkana is presently in the Horfrost Reach. We're certain of that now. I've heard some people say that I should get a PS4 Pro for this so it loads faster. But then I've also heard that the game, like... The sound of the PS4 Pro the internal fan is just way louder than the base PS4, which is fucking weird. There's also there's also now more and more cases of the PS4 Pro performing worse at games than the base PS4 because it tries to hit higher targets and it can't reach them and it can't reach them as effectively as what the base PS4 can hit the base targets. I think Borderlands 3 is one of the most recent examples of that where it's just and it actually performs better on the base one because it's not trying to hit as high, which is just fucking ridiculous. So let's just glide over the little spot of trouble I was in and focus on the important matters at hand, shall we? Yeah, now you got fucked and fell down. It felt like it was vindictive of Velkana to do that. After we finish this meeting, you'll stick around for some advice from a concerned friend, all right? <laughs> that said, those notes you found are definitely worrying. Song, impact on the ecosystem, old everworm. Turns out whole Frost Reefs wasn't always frozen over and just... Um, they'll kind of froze over the entire place single-handedly. Scratches we happen to find on a piece of cloth, but it's all eerily similar to what's going on. Well, at any rate, this is vital intel. I'll be sure to talk to my old man. So, what the fuck is? Thanks. The old ever one. Be sure not to leave out a single detail, huh? Because I don't know what worm means. Of course. Now. If we're sure that Velcana How fucking old is Velcana? Reach, is it the same Velcana from the first layer? It's 50 Mysterio. years. I and mean, I guess these monsters would live a long time. Look at how fucking huge they are. Big things often live for a long time. Look at whales. But like... <sighs> About that. God damn. Just a bit ago, we received a report that a subspecies of Anginath was spotted along the route to the landing. Oh, we finally get to fight this fucking what? thing. Why didn't you say so? If the weapon transport comes now, they're going to get trampled. Sorry to ask you this when you've just gotten back, but could you two go out and hunt that Anjanath? Be on the lookout for the transport. Yeah, the arrive. two of us can hunt once it. Once your partner's sure. taking care of the Anjanath, <laughs> lead them here to Celiana. Roger that. We'll send word if any trouble pops up. I'm counting on you to bring everyone back safely. Good luck. All right, we're finally hunting down an Anjanath. Anjanath is always just—it's causing problems. The Our thunder's troublemaker. 
A new type of troublemaker. All right, ecology resource. Take away a second. That's gonna go straight into it. Oh, there's also multiple things going on around various places. That can wait till Thank once you. we do all the things. Can't think you'd have fought without your help. I don't know if I could have found her. Yay! All right, thunderous troublemaker, full gore range enough. Convoy from a series approaching the whole frost reach. We need to secure it. It's true. Our favorite troublemaker is back, and someone needs to teach it a lesson. We finally get to fight this thing. It's popped up in a bunch of quests so far. What? Well, a couple quests, like story ones. I've seen it a bunch while doing stuff in the Horfrost Reach, though. And I've deliberately made sure to not fight it because I didn't, because I wanted to fight it for the first time on camera. Also, sometimes when it appears in a quest, it'll appear in a quest, come in and just like turf war with one monster, and then just fucking bounce and leave the locale. Which I feel happens a lot. Also, what's the Smithy one? It's only the other there girl here. Uh, let me. Okay, it's about your lad working over the research base. I think he's at last design, but he's gone and done it again. Said the hot springs here in Celiana had inspired mm. him. Uh, oh, oh, and that ladder right fit. Um, but it shows promise. It sells something's missing. Do a quest. Treasure in the steam. It's good. Okay. What does that unlock? I half read every single sentence of that um, thing that he was telling us. I was about to, you know, I was about to check here to find out. Can't fucking do that, can I? Because I'm waiting for a quest to load. All right, and what do you want? This quest is taking a long time to load. Ah, uh, ah, uh, whole frost rage painting, of course. Shrieking like Yana stuff. Yeah, obsidian ice talent. Hey, well now I can turn that in and I can get another painting for my room. All right. Did I eat? Yeah, I did. And here we go. We. Oh, I didn't change my items. Need to stock up on my uh, max potions again. I'm gonna fuck you don't know, fuck fucking fucking gonna fucking do fuck that sentence true sentence to me if I ever been one I can't talk today I'm bad at this I'm sorry no but you know what I'm gonna fucking do I'm gonna go into a goddamn fucking tent go to my item box when the convoy hits land I'll tell and I'm gonna put some pieces of shit in there because oh my god I'm sick of fighting multiple monsters and I want to chuck poop at stuff to get rid of them. Dung pod, 10. I'm fucking taking them with me. You can just craft them. Oh, not craft, but you can just um, put dung pods into the. What did you say, by the way? I forgot. I, uh. Convoy hits land. Um, okay, you'll, you'll tell them to stand by. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna pop one of these and take one of these for the road. Thank you. Um. Yeah, no, the botanical research. That's what's good. You can actually just cr um, put dung pods there. Which I assume as just... You're putting some bugs there that are known to poop a bunch. And then turning their poop into stuff. I can really follow your tracks. Oh, uh, fuck. Close to me and follow your tracks. Wait. They're around here somewhere. I am really bad. There it is. At finding where scout fly stuff is. If I don't actively see where the scout fly has flown to go there. I'm really bad at it. Why is it? Oh, right. I'm only level one, so it's just taking me to the next track. Now we go. Okay. I was really confused for a second. I'm just like, well, how's the engine out there? No, because I was going. I was following the next track, not the next monster. Doy. Hi, birdie. I don't know if I've actually caught a bird in this one. Also, do this. So I keep forgetting to do this. I don't know if I've caught a bird here. Fuck! Well, I guess I haven't caught one now! <laughs> Alright. Gonna take that off. Stay here. I put some shit here, didn't I? But I didn't save it. That's fine. I'll just have to remember to do it next time. I won't remember to do it next time. Are we gonna get a cutscene for this? Because we've already seen it many times over. Well, is this something you just don't get cutscenes for? Because it's just like, oh, yeah, already started. That's fine. I need to say it again. Which we going this way. I do really like the Horfrost Reach. It feels like an area that they've tried to do differently to the others, because it has very wide open er like areas that are very, very explicitly meant to be. This is a combat area. 
There's no, like, awkward pathways or things like that to get in the way of the combat. It's just, monster will go here and you fight it. So it's unlike something like Ancient Forest in regards to that. But there's enough twists and turns into it and enough, like, hidden pathways and secret little areas and everything that you can go down and explore that it's not incredibly lackluster in terms of its design the way that Elder's Recess is. Because Elder's Recess is just... A couple of big empty rooms with like very basic pathways that define them and not many hidden secrets. There's like a little bit. But Whole Forest Reach has still has a lot of like twisty turnsies um, and like hidden areas just to go through and find everything like that. And I really dig it for that. Like I can still go along a wall and go like, oh, I can probably duck in there go in there and find a bunch of hidden stuff. Which I actually found, um, I was talking before, I was like, hey, did I accidentally already find, like, the super, super, super rare stuff? Like, there. Like, you go across that, you notice that. Oh, there's a camp in there. Um, I, 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 I may have mentioned it, um, before, I don't think I did. I found the, um, you need to go away. Like, at the beginning, I was going, oh, did I find, like, the super, super, super rare stuff um, for this area? For the ingredients at, like, the patches of just the account item stuff? And the answer was, I found, like, the, like, the second rarest and all the ones leading up to it. I didn't find the rest, but I did find it recently! And that made me very happy, because now I have, like... The, because I got another canteen ingredient by finding another, um, item from the foliage. Where it's just like, hell yeah, I found the footage and I got another canteen ingredient out of it. Well, oh god. I keep fucking that up. When they jump in the air, you have to race. No matter where you're on them, it doesn't stop it. And I keep not keeping, like, noticing which one's gonna be that. Okay, ready? Look at this Angela who's basically also wearing a woolly coat. <laughs> like, just because the color difference between its head and that. And the little fur parts there, and the white parts on the on top. Makes it look like it's wearing a woolly coat. Also, this Anjanap looks sick. I love Anjanap from Tiger Markets. <laughs> but that looks sick. Also, this one's electric instead of fire. Oh god. That's that same attack as when it's mounted. So that. Well, I've only seen this monster appear and fire other things. So I've never actually seen it do its thunder stuff outside of thunder sometimes crackles out of its mouth. I, I like just now to try again. There we go! Nope. Fuck! God damn it. What was that squelchy sound that I just heard? I swear I heard a squelchy. Ow. So I think if it does any attack while you're on it, will it kick you off of clutch floor? Or is it just like certain parts of the body count as areas where the attack is happening? Ugh. There we go. Because, like, they. Because what they said the way to use the clutch floor at the start was. Try and flinch the monster, and then when it's flint, like when you flinch it from an attack or like from other slinger ammo, then you'll have an opportunity to grab onto it. And it's just when I actually do flinch a monster, there is not enough time between it flinching and for me to clutch claw, grab onto it, do the attack, weak at the spot before it just starts doing attack and kicks me off. Again, maybe it's because it's just because it has like a long attack. Um, for it, but, yeah. Like, just between how difficult it is for me to even get in a single weakening of a, like, hit of a spot for the Clutch Claw with Sword and Shield, and the fact that to weaken a spot so I do extra damage, I gotta hit that same spot twice. It's just, it's something I don't bother with that much, and I absolutely know that I should, because the game is 100% balanced around you're going to be doing extra damage a lot of the time, because you'll be hitting that weak spot. 
and it's 100% the balance of the game, and I'm just really bad at it with my main weapon, which fucking sucks. Like, with Hammer, Hammer is more likely to make enemies flinch just because of the way the fucking Hammer works, because it's just big knockout damage right to their fucking faces. But, um, the Hammer has two attacks where it goes directly from big attack into Clutch Claw immediately. You don't need to aim or, or anything. You just press the button and it does it. The way that, the way that, say, this goes into Clutch Claw immediately. Um, but because it's the Hammer, it'll hit them in the face and then you can, uh, I can usually get in a weakening of it with the Hammer. And again, with the Hammer, because it's a heavy weapon, it only has to hit him once and it does it. Uh, and to seven the Lance. Lance has a guaranteed clutch ball, um, counter that, uh, a clutch ball counter that guarantees you have enough time to weaken the spot before you can be thrown off. Not because it stops the monster from moving, but just seemingly if you get that clutch ball counter, you're just immune to falling off for at least long enough to guarantee a weakening of a spot if you don't change, um, locations on the monster. If you don't move around the monster. Like, I think all you can, like, it's just the aiming of stuff to try and do it is the thing that I'm bad at. Like, trying to do this and just, yeah. Like, again, I know I often will just fucking go at it at whatever time. Um, I don't like that. Oh, see, like, there we go. Fuck you, Ring Drake. Oh, you asshole. Like, I actually got a flinch. Oh, yeah. Like I do that and go, Ura! It's like flinch, and there we go. Oh, that's an old spot to have. <laughs> I was trying to aim for the left. I'm also just bad at aiming it. Like when it's oh, you weaken the spot now, quickly go for it, and then it's just like okay. I'm just gonna panic and then just trying to aim it as quickly as I can to try and make sure I get onto you as fast enough so I can actually do it. But then it's like, oh, I didn't even get to this one. Ah, fuck. I don't know, it just kind of sucks because my main weapon that I'm the best at combat with is the weapon that I have a lot of difficulty doing the thing with. Oh yeah, it takes multiple hits to do it. I'm bad at like finding a good time to do the actual clutch claw attack with it. And on top of all that, I gotta do it twice and then I've gotta hit that spot with my normal attacks. And the way that I do sword and shield is that I'm aiming at hitting the monster anywhere, but a lot. I'll obviously aim for the weaker spots that do more damage. But for the most part, I'm aiming for, I want to hit the monster, and if I hit it somewhere, then I'm fucking succeeding. Because if I just constantly, always attack it, and I never stop attacking it, then I'll be doing damage consistently, and always gonna be trying to kill it. Whoa! That was a sick attack. Oh, I was talking about last episode about monsters having sick, fucking sick attack animations. Go over there a little bit. Okay, ready? Ugh! Nice! Uh, uh, yeah, sick animations for uh, fucking monster attacks. There's one right there. Fuck, man. Some monsters just do not stay down for very long. Urgh, urgh. Oh, so I should probably just use this opportunity. Like, you're literally weakened. Uh, not weakened, but, um, tired. So just clutch full of crap out of you. Also, it's, it's another thing where it's just like, if you're in a team, it's way better. Whoa! We unlocked a new um, ability for the shield spy thing. I saw that shield spy spirit, I didn't see the thing was worth mentioning. I didn't realize it was the wacky, wacky waving arm flailing in, flat in fatality, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look at it. Look at it! Ah! I don't even care how effective that is. That's the best thing. Oh yeah, also I have, um... Yeah, I have, um, Shield Spire on right now. Once I get attacked less. But primarily it's just, um, Mialatov, Vigor, Wasp, and, um, Blade are all level 15 and maxed out. 
So I've just switched to, uh, I'm just trying to level up other ones. And I use Shield Spiral up uh, as well. It just means that sometimes the enemy won't attack you. Mock stuff. I should do Coral Orchestra, because from what I understand, Coral Orchestra is the one that is the most meta in terms of like, doing damage quickly because of the way it buffs you. Because the way it buffs you makes it do a lot of damage that's more worthwhile damage than um, like anything that your Palico can do. Fuck you. Just getting that final hit of um, the perfect rush on a weakened spot does like 200 damage. It's so, it's so sick. Also, is it just me? Oh, but so far, is Falker engine out thunder attacks? Specifically, it's thunder attacks. Easier to dodge than normal engine out's fire attacks. Not the rest of the moveset or anything like that. Just specifically that part. <laughs> also, I feel like this is a... Not... Maybe not, like, Gold's Crown Tiny. But I feel this is a tiny engine act because I'm able to actually hit its head with Sword and Shield. Where most of them I can't. Oh, and all the Bangles have now come back out. Like, I'm actually able to hit its fucking head, which I feel I normally cannot do. With engine act. Uh, bug... There's bugs around. I'm just trying to keep in the habit of passing gathering points, passing items to pick up. Pick them all up. Because just having that moment of end game, base game, of just noticing I'm running low on research points and a lot of items I'm low on. Or I'll go to try and use a different type of item for a different type of build or battle style or anything. Fuck me, I keep forgetting what the attack that is. And then it's just, oh yeah, I have hardly any of that. Because I'm into try oh. I'm not always like picking up shit as I'm walking past it. Especially tracks, because just like picking up tracks just as you're going around, one, it keeps scout fly level up so you can just find the monster way quick when you go back in there. But two, like it's the easiest form of research points that you get consistently, other than say completing bounties. Which is also just something I've been trying to focus on a lot more of just trying to complete bounties. Which is easier when I'm trying to gather every single thing that I pass to just be like, oh yeah, these current ones are my current gathering bounties, I should try and grab those. I say that, I currently have no bounties that are gathering ones, but they're all hunting stuff, uh, but hey. Oh, T-Grex? They had a turf war, they stopped it. I wonder if that was me. I would have loved to see the two fucking dinosaur motherfuckers go at each other. Especially considering this variant of the dinosaur motherfucker has the fucking stripes the way Tigrex does. You just don't stay down. Actually, do you? Asshole! Yeah! Yeah! Now, I gotta say, I'm impressed. We've had how many damn subspecies like across this game now? Whereas, like, part of the assigned stuff is. Yo, go fight these subspecies, dog. And it's it's good now that so much better subspecies than the base game. Uh, is where we are about to pull. I know parts of this area collapse and fall eventually, and I don't know which spots it is specifically. So maybe that's why I'm noticing the um, thunder attacks less, and I think they're easier to dodge. I'm getting hit by them, but I'm getting hit by Thunder Blight. I think that makes you more likely to be stunned. A thing that can't happen to me. Where with the fire one, every time I get hit with the fire one, I'm on fire and I have to roll for a second. Maybe it's just the fact that the electricals don't care about the end result of what they do. So when I do get hit by it, I'm just noticing it's getting hit by an attack. I mean, the way that it spits the globules out is a different attack. Well, I do want to say, out of the ones that we've fought so far, in terms of differences, uh, in terms of subspecies, this one seems to be the least different. Like, a lot of its normal attacks are fairly similar. Its behavior doesn't seem radically different. Like, even if Toby Kodachi only has, like, Black Toby Kodachi only has, like, a couple new moves that are specifically associated with poison, like, seeing above that it has, the way that it attacks is very different. It doesn't grab onto the trees to do its attacks, so its behavior is wildly different. Coral Puke Puke is basically not even the same monster in any capacity whatsoever. Shrinking Legiana has a couple different uh, um, attacks. So, um, 
But the way he does its aerial attacks and the way he does its ice attacks seem to be just completely different to Lumal and Yana. Okay, that's a hitbox that exists, I guess. Sure. I mean, if you say so, I'll disagree with you entirely because, well, that hitbox wasn't on me at all. But sure, if you want to say so, game, then by all means, be wrong. It jumped away from me, forwards. How was that where I was? Oh, right, it wasn't. I really need to put my well done stake somewhere better. Like, even if it's on my radial menu, because it's not something I'm going to be using mid-combat too much, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, a lot in that regard. Oh, right. Hot drink. Um, I need to put it somewhere better on the item bar. That being said, I pick up so much stuff in this that it fucks up my item bar entirely, I've noticed. Um, but, like, I should put it on the other side of my... Like, I should put it next to the empty side, so it's on the other side compared to uh, my... Um, Mega potions. So it's there when I need it. Ow, no, I'm bored. Although, I don't have maximum health, so I should probably pop this immediately. There we go. Okay. See, now I know that this fucker lies about his hitboxes. So now I'm even more terrified. Oi! Coward! <laughs> oh, that coward's still running away. Okay. Oh, go over and actually fight Tigrex. Do it. Do it! Also, I think that one bomb actually just turned him uh, to death percent. Because, holy fuck. Also, can you tell that I've been watching Smash YouTubers, and especially our friend more frequently, now that I refer to things being almost dead at death percent? Um, even when percentage ain't a fucking thing, or in this, where you don't even know their goddamn health bars. <laughs> What can I say? My entire commentary style is just apparent, and I just rely on the fact that the people I watch on YouTube are often not the people that the people who watch me watch on YouTube. That is my secret. A secret that won't work for too long because the people I watch on YouTube are pretty good. I literally just mentioned Alpha, right? the, the highest view of the Smash. <laughs> um. Like, I'd watch more smaller time uh, YouTube people. In fact, I used to watch a lot more of them. The main thing is just a lot of the smaller YouTube people that I like stopped doing videos at some point because life got in the way. Or don't do videos super frequently because life gets Spy in the way. Still hasn't arrived. Think something might have happened? Uh, that's not great considering the whole reason we killed this was for it to arrive. But hey! And by killed, I killed him in caption. Totally, it all didn't dissect when we took back to the base because we're still getting all the materials from killing it just after the fact. So we feel personally better about our conscience. Ah, take a little drinky drink. Bunch of stuff there. Lightning sacks. Those things I needed a he heap of in the past that I don't need as many of anymore. I mean, all materials are good. Again, once we get to the end game. I'm gonna wanna just have, be able to make any armor piece easily, instantly, whenever I need to. Fortify! A skill that is only used by scrubs who fucking die all the time. I say I died like right before I finished fighting you just then. Um, for the people who, you, who beat, but I didn't need to actually use any damage boost that I got from it. Because I only died at the end. Because I'm not a fucking scrub! I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I kind of want, I am not finishing any of my sentences. That's the main thing I'm doing. My words and thoughts have been so goddamn fucking frenetic in this video. <laughs> They've been all over the place. I don't know why. I've just... It's just... It's just that type of day, you know? Where your brain's all just fucking... And just scatterbrains entirely. When you're talking into a microphone for an hour straight. Even though my brain is at scatterbrained, I've only done two monsters and the video is at un un under an hour for recording. I kind of just want to keep going, but it depends on what's next. Piggy! Piggy! Motherfucking Piggy is here now! I saw Piggy! Also, that building in the middle, they finished it. Is that what the supply convoy is? 
Good to see you back in one piece. Skewering that route is huge. Soliana's up and running. It's amazing how fast everybody got the place together. <laughs> we finished building it finally. And not only just got back, but I've got news from Astera. They say even more subspecies never seen in the new world are suddenly crawling out of the woodwork. Oh, we've got even more subspecies. Well, there's so many hunters out here. Astera's short on yeah. manpower. I don't suppose I gotta ask you to head back east and lend a hand. With their hands already full with ru rushing those fortifications to us, I'm worried some somebody's gonna do something crazy. But you know when to call a mission if things get out of hand. I trust you. And so does everyone back at Astera. If we could get you out there, it would be a huge relief. I'd really appreciate it. All right, Let's we're head just... to Astera. There may be something we can help with. All right, well, we're just doing more help there, I guess. Um, for more subspecies. I track her. Hey. Now goes the hunt. Me, I'm about to head out on another investigation. Heard the song back there. Then there was sudden seismic action. That's the part I'm still puzzling out. I aim to focus my search on those tremors for now. But this time, I'll be more careful. Not sure if I'd survive another lecture careful. from Junior. You be careful, sir. Seismic tremors happen with song. Also, hey! Armory Girl does something, something new for us. Let's just have a look around for a second, just to see the place being finished. Oh, look, it's all built up and everything, and they're just throwing snow off the top at there. So yeah, there's just like a lot more bannering around everywhere. Place looks a bit fancier. Oh, everything's here. Where is Poogie though? Poogie! Poogie! Poogie's finally, I can finally pet Poogie after every quest again. Yay! Yay! Also, Piggy is not wearing Dodo Hama, but wearing little things that are like snow gear and it's not coming out of his nose. Oh, you got a little snow outfit too, buddy. Yay! Okay, before we head back to Astera, I want to talk to you because I'm here and I'll forget if I'm back at Astera after the video ends. I'm really tempted to just do whatever the next one oh, is. Me. This girl is so fucking cute, by the way. This is like new babe secretly. This Eliana Armory girl. Holy fucking shit. I'm going bonkers with all this thunderproof man. I'll cram something in Get it. it done for me, will ya? There's like a quest to upgrade every single goddamn mantle to be able to put decorations into it. And I've done so few of them. <laughs> because they're mantles. Like, I don't use mantles enough to worry about that. Now, if I can put it on the impact mantle or the temporal mantle and I can put stuff on there, then that, that I'll fucking worry about, baby. But for the time being, I mean, it's still going to be good. Like, if they're thunderproof mantle, fireproof mantle, it's still going to be good to have stuff on those, obviously, because there are certain fights where they'll be very much useful. Just, you know, not shit I'm currently worrying about. But we'll get to the point where we're hunting Elder Dragons or stuff like that, and I'll want, like, the fireproof mantle for... Tiostra and realistically, actually, Lunostra. Th thunderproof mantle for Kirin. Are they gonna? Are they gonna redo Arch Tempered for Master Rank stuff eventually? Like, is this gonna be Arch Tempered Master Rank Elders, or are they gonna do something different? Because that was. It wasn't the end game of the base game, but it was like the challenge stuff. So just be like, oh, you think you're good enough? You can do this and earn even more powerful gear, which is like a couple sets of, or the real reward, layered armor sets. Like that was the reward for the end game for being able to take on the hardest challenges that the game had for the Arch Tempered stuff. You too. Outside of the Thank team based the stuff that was way harder. Did my grandson send you? Yes, sir. The chief asked us Yeah, we heard that there was more, even more subspecies. I'm thankful. You're just the help that we needed. It wasn't long after you left that we started getting reports of the song being heard all around the new world. That's not great either. Soon after that, previously undiscovered subspecies appeared and wasted no time before starting to run amok. That's not great. Commander, I have strong reason to believe that the song is what caused the Legiana to fly across the hinterlands. And if monsters start leaving their natural habitats, it's only natural that there are other consequences for the ecosystem. I think this is like, all we're just defining what was written on the cloth. Song? We're just defining all of this as something is causing unnatural changes to the ecosystem, which is damaging the ecosystem. Not at all what we're doing with our giant facility, see, with all the steam coming out of it and us going around killing a whole bunch of stuff to feed a massive population. Not at all, oh, but, yes. you know. I've been told what was written on that cloth. 
Monster Hunter has massive themes of colonialism in it, and I can't escape from that. And I love the fucking game. Monster Hunter Worlds and Iceborne would be like in my top 10 of all time at this point because I fucking love these games. Cannot deny the fact that they are colonialist as fuck, which is honestly not something that happens a shitload in games outside of like RTS games, where like the whole idea of those games is growth is specifically the best, most important thing, and that's what you that's what your overall objective is to achieve, and there's like hints in that. Not it's, even that's not as strong as this though, because this is literally going to foreign lands and settling them and killing the native populations that are there from killing you. Just those native monsters, uh, the na native populations in this are monsters that are like look like dinosaurs, as opposed to you know people living their fucking lives. It seems very likely that the Puke Puke and Paulumu subspecies were a precursor to our current troubles as well. At any rate. I'll be sure to take meticulous notes about where all these so monsters they just thrown to fucking active. nightshade on the to uh, Vipertopia Kadachi. Then I realized that was in Hall Frost Rage, so never mind. Right. I'll leave you to it. Remember, I'm counting on you to help prepare Celiana's defenses. Good luck. But I gotta be here to help this as well. Alright. The Disintegrating Blade and Bad Friends Great Enemies. Are they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us. Help with Glavinus and o Odogoro? Okay. Well, the Glavinus one must be the one that bites its tail, because I know there's two Glavinuses, and... No, I mean, the other one bit its tail too, but it was not the same fucking thing. <laughs> I like how everyone here is fucking running around legging it everywhere. Also, hey, Zero Sand, what's up? Let's do this! Time to make ourselves useful! Our members arrive safely. You two stayed behind? I didn't realize See you that. around, buddy. Okay. They, 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 they hung around, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. It's like the Zora Magdoros thing, where it's just like, everyone's just fucking getting ready and just arming up everything. There's fucking cannons just sitting around everywhere. Um, all that goodness. You know what? Just because... I'm going to say fuck it. I'm going to do these two this episode as well. Welcome to four <laughs> of them this video. Everyone is relieved that I'm here. I was going to check that. Oh, I forgot to mention. I may have mentioned it, and I forgot that I mentioned it. Yo, fucking you. I, I did a quest, and now I can cultivate four things at once. Holy fucking shit. That's the best upgrade in the fucking game. I can cultivate four motherfucking things at once instead of three, and that is fucking radical. That's so fucking good. Also, no quests uh, that need to be done anyway here. All right, onwards we head then. Long episode, and by that I mean... Will it be like another hour, which will be over two hours, which most of these so far have actually been like an hour 40. So it's not that much longer. But hey, more subspecies, let's chuck all the subspecies into a single video. Because why the hell not? So it'll take a long time? Probably. Also, so yeah, like I knew there was a Glavin of subspecies, because again, I, Glavin was like the one thing I saw before this. I saw that there was two fucking different Glavinuses, because I noticed two different colors. Um, I don't remember what the color of the second one is now, but I know I saw different colors. A dog on subspecies. That's. I like that. Okay, oh, Dragon Runs are quite a, quite a fun fight. Let's go. Not like super up there in like top three favorite monsters or anything, but I do like a Dragon Run fight. It's just nice and vicious and fast. All right, our job is to investigate the acidic Glavinus and Ebony Odogaron. 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 How do you pronounce that? I keep saying Odogaron, but I've heard people say Odogaron. Easier said than done, right? Yeah, I don't know how to actually pronounce it, but that's fine, I'm sure. I'm sure I don't need to know how to pronounce things. The Disintegrating Blade. As soon as we're kind of left, once ever started getting rolled up. Shorter man, I'll take that out. Well, I guess we'll do this because it's Coral Highlands, so and then Rotten Vow, that makes sense. Ebony Odogaron. Odogaron. Can you pet the Odogaron? With a, with a sword? Yeah, sure. Absolutely, you can pet the Odogaron. I made that joke earlier this video, didn't I? Like I, I, sp I spoke about the Pet the Dog Twitter account. I think I did. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, strap in, motherfuckers. Super long episode of Monster Hunter. We're halfway through it. Whoa, oh. Chameleon on a chair. I am down to like a third of my lime cordial, though. Which has nothing to do with the fact that this session's extra long. My normal sessions for my main LPs are two hours, or at least I aim to do, like, to get to around the two hour mark for my normal LPs. 
I just like my lime cordial and I drink it way too fast. Like I have a big fuck off thing for it. I used to have like a like just a small can size glass because it was literally in the shape of a can for recording sessions. And then I started drinking lime cordial for my videos. And I have it in this giant fucking thing, which is more than twice the size of my other ones, and I still I'm run out of the of the monsters being affected by that song. Honestly, I think I've run out of Lime Cordial more in sessions than I did fucking, um, my normal drinks that I had. Because so I used to have, like, soft drink or rum and coke a lot more during videos. Or, like, recently it was like, I had the, for my Cordial, I had the Peach Tea Cordial, which I just made fuck tons of in a giant jar. But, um... That jar got a lot of condensation and leaked a lot into my table. And while it was the biggest container that I had and a lot of good drink and it was good, um, because it was peach tea flavored and it was cordial, so it was still delicious. Um, the condensation that came onto the side of it was, uh, pretty nasty. And now parts of my table have water damage from that. So now I keep it in a little stubby holder. Just realized, I don't know if stubby holder is an Australian term. The little foam things that you surround a can of drink with. We call them stubby holders here. Also, I'm noticing every track that I'm getting except for that first one is not for the monster that I'm actually here to find. Which is not great. There we go. Uh, I feel like I'm meant to be going the other way. Literally everything here is just not going to Wait, nope, there's more there. There's more there. I mean, it's the first time we've seen a monster, we might get a cutscene for it and actually shows us, hey, look at the monster. And it's it just waiting for us in a very specific spot. This does happen. I keep forgetting it happens, but it does happen. All right, where am I going now? Up. There we go. Sarah. Yeah, there was. There was a wedge bait up there. That's fine. I don't need no wedge pit. I shall take the red pits. Just so I can throw shit into a wall if I feel so choosing to shove shit into a wall with the clutch claw that I'm really bad at. How did I clutch claw or no dogger on? How would that even work? Those fuckers move super fast. It's their whole shtick. But part of their whole shtick is that when they get knocked over the first time, they don't even get fucking knocked over. There we go. Now we actually get a cutscene. Looking pretty normal, honestly. But I imagine the subspecies will come in in a second. Oh! Ah! Oh! Nice and dark. Red and black fight. Go! Oh! Shit! Which one do I shoot? <laughs> you scratched me in the face. You pissed me off. Rah! It has like electricity coming out. Is this another electric one? Wow, you just put it down immediately. Nope, that's totally dragon. That's fucking Devil Joe's breath. Oh dear god. All right, bye, Togaron. Go down to the back down to the veil with you. This is dragon. A Doggeron was notable in the base game for being one of the few monsters that completely nullified dragon damage to it, actually. That's totally dragon breath. Because that's fucking the same Coca-Cola that comes out of, um, Devil Joe's mouth. I guess it's Dragon Blight, stops element damage. Which, uh, just stops poison, I guess, on this. Rah! Whoa! Okay, okay. Whoa! It, yeah, it should coca call out of its mouth. And just like, God, this thing looks fucking sick. <laughs> it has leaping attacks that have, that have projectiles. That is very different for a dog run. Yep, dragon blight. Totally dragon blight. <laughs> See, like, I, oh, I know, I didn't get my poison damage. You're already poisoned, and I get free resuscitate when I'm dragon blighted. I'll fucking take it, man. <laughs> Okay, and a dog around with projectiles and aerial attacks. And that was basically Pikachu's quick attack when I spun around there. Oh. The way they treat subspecies in Iceborne is so much better. 
Like, they were absolutely disappointing and felt like they were reskins for the sake of saying the number of monsters is higher when the actual fight is basically not different in the base game. Like, Black Diablos is a Rathalos Pink Rathian and not that much different. To the point where the thing that they tried to say about why they're different and it's like, oh, you have to be careful when you're fighting a subspecies. Some of their weak points and hard points are slightly different. Like it's at the one end of the tail on one Rathian, but at the other end of the tail on the other. And that was what they pointed out to make people pay attention to the subspecies in the base game. And I'll be perfectly honest, like, being Rathian has like some slight different attacks that it likes to do more frequently. Um, it seems to be fireballs a bit uncomfortable. Azura Rathalos takes to the skies way more than normal Rathalos. I'll be perfectly honest though, I cannot tell the difference in attack patterns between Diablos and Black Diablos after fighting them this long. But, um, I spawn subspecies though. I mean, the big one is still called Puke Puke. Like, because it's just a complete, like, some of the attacks that it has are just not even remotely close to being the same. Like, they're just an entirely fucking different ballpark. Um, entirely. And, so, like, some of the species have a little bit of differences. Um, but even, like, the more disappointing ones that don't have as... Well, not necessarily disappointing, but even the more tame ones that don't have as many differences compared to their base variants. Um, in Iceborne, so far... Still way more different than any of them were in the, in the original. Like, they feel like a different... That's the main thing, where it's like, it feels like a different fight where you understand some aspects of it, but it is not the same fight, and you've still got to, like, pay attention to different attacks. Oh, yeah! Shelling attacks! Nice, yeah. I have Dragon Blight, so there's no point doing perfect rush, so just fucking roll this over and over again. And then I'm gonna do a spot of this, because I can while you're being shelled. What the fuck happens there? I was in the middle of the attack, and then something happened that I don't know what. Um, alright, okay. But I accidentally pressed, like, a different button while doing that. I accidentally used that when I went to use a potion, but hey. Like, aerial attacks are just a completely different thing. That's fucking sick to see. Where'd Ligiana go? Where did our Doggeron go? I actually have no idea where anything went. Um. Oh, you went up there? Oh. Oh, I thought I saw someone run down that way. Oh. Turns out I have no idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Never. Legiana material. Was Legiana here long enough to fight anyone to do that? Didn't notice if that was the case. Maybe that was during the shelling. I mean, there's, there's more Legiana material up here. I mean, pretty much Legiana's one natural prey was a Doggeron in the base game. There's so something that I kind of like where a Doggeron is 100% associated with the Rotten Vale, and that's like... A Doggeron's main place, it's where it appears during the musical quest, um, like a men quest kind of thing. But, you can still see a Doggeron a lot in the Coral Highlands, and it's like, why? Oh, because a Doggeron's main prey, um, prey that it picks on is like Yana, Highlands. So they'll still sometimes venture up from the Vale just to go, fuck it, I'm not waiting for like Yana to die a natural death and fall into the Vale. I was gonna go get one myself. I'm fucking hungry. New breeds has taken way too long to make something die to bring it to me. I'm gonna kill it myself. Ow. See, so, like, I, I go to, like, oh, I'll just pop away for a second, have a quick bit of a drink, and then that shit happens. I'm just like, yeah, I wasn't actually. Fucking nope. No, fucking, uh, I try to do the attack to do this, and I press triangle circle when I don't need to, because I've already got the weapon out. Ah, you fucking Ah, you fucking dickhead. DICKHEAD! Ugh. I'm noticing some of the numbers, some of the attacks that I'm doing have blue numbers on them, and I don't know what that is. Because I thought blue numbers indicated that you were doing element damage. I guess I unless I'm doing poison damage when I do that, but I haven't noticed that when I've done it with any other things. Unless the dog on Ebony and Dogger is like super weak to poison. So it's just like it's literally, you know. Oh by the way, you're doing element damage with these attacks, and they're super weak to poison. Really, Gajalaka? 
kick it! Mouth on cocktailing me! Didn't you hear? I'm sick. I'm friends with your bros. Oh, I didn't carry any of those with me. Whoopsie doodles! That's fine, don't worry. Fucking fuck me! And everything that I am and who I am. Fucking Christ. Fuck. But I was gonna fuck it up that much. I could have at least let it look. Ow. Yeah, raw. That's fucking always gonna work out super well with the clutch claw and ear plugs. Oh, dragon plugs. Nice. Hey, how does this look? Literally can't clutch claw a monster in the middle of a turf war. <laughs> Whoa! Fucking nice! Although I think Lugiana still won that. I think Lugiana did more damage than it on her own did. But holy fucking shit, it basically just power drums it. Power bombed it. Yeah, no, Doggeron was the one who ran away. Not what I meant. I meant yeah. Thank you. This here, so I'm here. Hard fangs, nice. I'm wearing a dogger on um coil. I needed hard fangs for that, so that's why I'm just like nice. <laughs> I don't know if hard fang is like one of the rarer items to get from monsters, but it seems to be. Well, like hard fang and hard claw seems to be like outside of like the normal things that aren't like tails or flashes for things that have tails, or like blades, mantles, um, gems. The hard fangs and hard claws seem to be the rare ones. I don't I have no idea how true that is, but it seems to be. I am also the person who I had to fight the normal legend for the actual Gerald Witcher quest multiple times so I could get enough of the um, cursed bones, I think it was, to actually be able to craft the thing that I needed. The thing that is literally defined in the monster guide as the most common material that that fucking monster drops. And it was the one that took me the longest to get, because I'd get none of it while getting multiple smothers. Because luck is fucking weird. Like I said, when I hunted a Diabolos between videos, um, I think I got like three gems of one from Diabolos. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Man, I like fighting things that have dragon flight. Cause I just get free resuscitate. <laughs> Cause Like it doesn't affect my abilities in terms of my attacks at all, doesn't like make me take lots of damage, doesn't make me lose um, stamina or health or anything like that. Ow! Eat dicks. Um like it just makes it so I'm not doing my poison stuff. Which man. I'll still eventually proc poison anyway, uh, outside of that. Pretty sure I've already proc'd it twice this fight already. So, doesn't matter too much. I just get free resuscitate. I feel like resuscitate would be a way more useful skill for basically anything that isn't sword and shield. The sword and shield is just like, oh, I resuscitate. Oh, well, I mean, I already cured the problem that was with me because you basically don't have to worry about blights or anything. For the most part, when it comes to sword and shield, But not being able to use items while I'm sheathed, things like that, the slower attack patterns, uh, things like that. Those are all things that it takes time to get used to with other weapons because I've been using sword and shield so Absolutely, definitely the case. The thing that honestly takes the heart that is the hardest for, for me to have gotten used to is... Oh! Okay, there was no second one, I don't know why. Is, um... Yeah, it's the total lack of just like, oh yeah, I can't heal Blight literally instantly, so I have to actually sheath them, like, purposely pay attention if I ever want to heal it, and I definitely do, because Blights are really fucking bad when they hit you. I'm just gonna keep doing this. And when an enemy's tied, it's just free wounding. <laughs> nice. AI coward just as I want you to 
Hello. That's possibly racist, I'm not sure. Not my position to judge, just my position to go. Hey, is that fucked up? That is the most, as a white person, I can do to combat racism 100%. There's literally nothing else I am capable of doing other than pointing it out and going, that might be weird, and then doing literally nothing else. Hashtag ally. Hashtag blessed. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm gonna mind this. So distract from the topic of conversation that I said, oh, I got some bathy side or you take a couple of those and then you start gnawing people's faces off if you listen to the media. Bath crystals. Bath crystals is where that joke was going, in case that was not clear by the fact that it wasn't clear at all. Bath salts, that's the actual name. Bath salts. So that's the little thing. Also, what are, what are bath salts? I literally don't know. Is it called that because they're like salts that you make in the bath, or is it literally just like, oh, these are like smelling salts or something that you put into a bathtub to make it smell nice or fucking to exfoliate your skin or foliate your skin, whichever the good one is, um, or whatever. And it's just people found out you can get super fucking high from them because if there's one thing that humanity has been actually good at for the entirety of its history is finding out ways to get absolutely fucked up on anything that is possible to get fucked up on. So buff are, I don't know. Are they still hip? If I went to a party and I opened everyone buff salts, would, that, would, I, would I be the cool one for the party? Or is that one of the drugs that has fallen into ill reprieve and is like viewed society as, or oh, if you take those things, you're bad because they're traditionally associated with black people. So therefore, we think that if you take those, then you're a failure and a fuck-up. It's going to do horrible things to you. Uh, unlike the other drugs that all the white people do. So we're just like, oh, it might do things to you, but for the most part, it's fine. We're not going to like call the cops on you if you're doing it or anything. Which one of those categories is Bob possible? I don't know. All the stories I heard about it were Florida Man. So I feel like it's frowned upon not because it's black people, but because it's poor people. Like, that's my guess. Like, when it comes to the I like all drugs except the country and rap, are bath salts the country or the rap? Like, like this I'm not sure. amazing, isn't it? I literally started making a joke about bath salts to distract from me talking um, about being fully uninformed when it comes to racism and just a shitty white person. And I managed to turn the bath salts into a thing about white people hating black people once again. Uh, I am anything if not consistently on fucking brand. Now let's kill this at Ebony Odegaron. Oh, cool video games. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Video games making gamers racist since 1980x. I'm just kidding. It wasn't the games that made them racist. It just made it easier for them to express it. Become. Why do you think that a movement that was done by gamers was used to literally fucking funnel fascism into a more open um, state in America? Fucking oh, oh, big fucking shock, man. Not at all. Like gaming and gaming culture has a massive fucking history. This or anything. Or, you, know, see, you can extrapolate it to nerd culture as a whole. You absolutely could extrapolate it to nerd culture as a whole. Also, I think I have enough. Um, I can telecraft that. Oh, also, that's a big fucking buff for healing. So I'll get back to talking about racism in a second. Fucking, you can choose when you um, radial menu a, a crafting thing if you want to make every single one that you possibly can at once. So instead of going bang, 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 like I do with the right stick um, to do all those, you can just say fuck it and just go craft everything that I can of that right now. And you can set that to your radial menu thing. That's fucking sick! One of the- another massive buff for, um... Well, do I actually go back to this time? Okay, don't touch him. Watch him. Man, it- Odegaran just gets its turples with everyone. It loves that move, sir. Whoa! Threw against the wall. Not going on one if you go by damage amounts. So that's the thing. The whole point of Zerf War is to drop down their damage a lot in terms of game mechanics. So they both have to hurt each other. 
one can't come out unhurt because otherwise it would just be watching them do sick shit and depending on which one you're fighting it's either just time you don't get to attack the monster that's effectively or a massive damage to it so they both have to take damage but i think you can still determine a cannon winner in terms of well which one looks like it fucked up the other one the most in the animation for it because sometimes that's clear where one just absolutely fucks up the other one and the other one just manages to get in a hit or not to get fucked up as mine. Also, I guess we've got to call in a terror signal once again. Um, but if, yeah, the animation doesn't make it super clear, you can always just go by which one does more damage. Like, which one just fucked up the other one in terms of damage? And that's, and that's the next one. Stick close to perfect rush not be awkward now, it took too long to do it. So going to Falling Bash forever! Now I can walk past this again, realize, oh, that's that fucker I just fought. Never mind, I'm just gonna fucking run away. But, <laughs> nice. Flash pods. No idea as useful in Master Rank as he used to be, but still good at blinding the monster. Not that, that helps when they just attack. Oh, I don't know where the, um, where the person I'm trying to kill is. What if I just made my entire body a massive spinning hit? And then, and then, you know, no matter what happens. Is that the blindness already? Holy fuck. A Drogaron is the honey badger of this fucking game. I swear to god. This doesn't give a shit about anything. Gets knocked over, just gets up fucking Im immediately. Any blight taking it? Nah, fuck it. Turf War? Oh, anything is in front of me? You wanna fucking go. Oh, it's an Elder Dragon? I don't give a fuck. Let me be the one monster in the game. That's a normal Wyvern that has a fucking turf wall with an Elder Dragon. Because I just absolutely don't even, do not even give the single remotest of an ounce of a fuck anywhere. God, a Dogger Axe badass. Wow, that just enough to stun you, huh? Alright, well, you get to survive today. Hey! A Dogger on court. Yay! Oh, we can totally do for this episode. Successfully hunted. Oh, Dogger on. I heard the pronunciation there and it sounded like none of the pronunciations I thought it could be. Fucking sick. I've been making that mistake for a year and a half. Fucking radical. Oh. Yeah, some of these subspecies aren't as changed as others, but I am aware I'm comparing all of these to fucking Coral Puke Puke. The thing that it cha is changed drastically entirely. Which, they had to change that one the most just because Coral Puke Puke is coming from Puke Puke! Literally the third monster in the game, so it's not gonna have any, like, it's all attack patterns aren't gonna be anywhere near as high. Windproof, eh? I already have enough of those to max out Windproof if I ever did that, so whatever. Doesn't really affect me or change anything, so, eh. That's level 12. I'm assuming Malico goes up to 40 then. I thought it might go 35, like you get an extra 5 levels like all the upgrades for the gadgets too. Maybe it goes to 50. This is also possible. Like the other one's got a third increase. Like, from 10 to 15. I don't know, they got a half increase. So a half increase for 30 would be 45. Or if it did get a third increase, it'd go to 40. Could be 50 though. Oh, Sam, what? Oh, yeah. Just comparing subspecies to Coral Puke Puke. Coral Puke Puke had to change the most. Because it was the You're most. Doing great. Simple version to begin with. But, these subspecies are still definitely changing a good amount compared to the base game subspecies. Like, that Abio. Um, Odogaron. Has some attacks that are similar to it, and the overall nature of it is, like, probably more similar to. Um. A dogger on than some of the normal a dogger on than some of the other subspecies, but fucking it has an element to it. It's Dragon Blade, it has fucking aerial attacks and slight ranged attacks with like AOEs on it. Again, that's that's different. Like it makes it so you can't just rely on knowing the exact same monster and going into it again. Which again, the base game ones, I feel like if you just fought the base monster, you knew what to do for the next one. That Chapo Luma is also the most different, like, well, it's not the most different, but it's the second most different compared to the original one, compared to the normal Power Lumu. But it's not for the Let's best, because that fight sucks. Because <laughs> it's just, oh, watch out for the the gas, or it puts you to sleep, or, like, if, if you fight Night Chapo Lumu, 
just take sleep resistance because it's not worth dealing with that fucking mechanic at all. But even then, it's just a polarity that's just in the air all the fucking time, so Sword and Shield's useless against it. Our job is to investigate the acidic Glavinus and Avidio Doggeron. Well, I'm just fucking excited for what we're about to do here, because we're about to fight another motherfucking Glavinus! Acidic Glavinus! I'm also realizing I organized my item pouch. And did all my stuff at the canteen. Then started loading the quest. Because sometimes I'm a fucking moron is what I am. Uh, that was way louder than I expected it to be. Somehow. Um, see, I, I can't put Raider Ride on my item bar here. That's fucking weird. I don't like that. Um, but I want to put my stake there. I want to put my world on stake there. So everything else, like potion is there, max potion, and these healing ones here are fine. Like, I'm only going to use those two. Uh, my caption net should probably be closer because I do go to that more for it. Fuck it. Caption net can go there. Because those are the things I actually use the item bar for. So before I go anywhere else, I just want to save that to here. I don't know if it saves the item bar. But I'm gonna save the item bar there, just in case, so I can get the steak easier. Because I'm admitting it, I need to eat some steak sometimes. I also just think part of it that, because I didn't notice it during that fight, but I noticed it in the fight before it. Some of it may just be fighting in the Horfrost Reach. At the moment that you start losing stamina because you're in the cold or you're hit by Ice Blight at any point, it may just be that's something that's affecting your stamina, so it's faster for it to drop down lower, where... I'm beginning a record of the monsters riled up by that song. Nothing in that last fight had anything that affected stamina. Also, one thing that I'll say that made that fight against um, Ebony Odegaran better than normal Odegaran, no bleeding. <laughs> I mean, I all, like, it's like carrying around the dung pods. I, I now always carry with me fucking, what's it called? Um, a zero jerky. Not every fight has bleeding. But if I come across one without bleeding and I'm not prepared for it, it becomes a pain in the ass. So, I'm always going to carry a Sierra Jackie with me now. And again, now, it's, it's, it's just so much easier to carry all that stuff now. Now that I'm not carrying over a third of my item pouch being um, dedicated exclusively to attack and defense boot boost items. I'm not carrying seeds. I'm not carrying drugs. I'm not carrying charms. I'm not carrying talons. Like, they're just not as useful in this because the number is the same for that, but the, all the other numbers are bigger. So comparatively, there are less of a boost than other things. Like, I'm sure they might still have their uses. I don't know if they're a, as worthwhile, but I'm not carrying those things anymore. I, don't, I have the item pouches to spare. I have filled up my item pouch with been trying to be prepared to heal myself. In most situations I come across, not necessarily to buff myself, but to heal myself in annoying situations, just in case. And I still have so many item pouches left that I can use entirely. Yes, I don't want to play torch, not scanner. Um, but I can use entirely just on gathering shit when I'm around, so I just never run out of my items again. It's fucking sick. So much better. One thing in terms of that, I know attack boost is nowhere near as useful as it used to be, because, again, all the other numbers are higher, so it doesn't make as much... Oh, that's sort of... So, having those extra attack numbers doesn't make as much of a difference as it used to, because, again, the number smaller comparatively to what it is, what to what the number is now. But some of the other attack skills, like, is peak performance going to be worthwhile if you have a build... Focused on healing augments. Assuming augments function the same once you get to the end game and you can still put on healing augments because healing augment was the best fucking skill in the base game. Okay, seeing them over there is reminding me and I'm gonna forget if I don't do it right now. Tower Raider signal! Thank you. Like, the, they help quite a lot, but mainly it's about getting that level of unity up. Because currently the level of unity is shit. And that when the level of unity is shit with these monsters, uh, they just don't have as, as much health. They don't last as long. The more I use them, the longer they'll last for and the more useful they'll be. Which applies to, honestly, just most. Oh, like, a, not most, but a lot of things in this game. Um, I was saying words about skills. Yeah, peak performance. If you have augments, assuming augments work the same way um, at the end of this game as they do compared to the base game, because... They may not, because Healing Augment was just ridiculously powerful, especially on Sword and Shield. Um, 
Like, they may change that. Do the augments just function the same as they did in the base game? Like, I have weapons that are augmented. What if I, like, from the base game, what if I upgraded them? Do they just keep that? Because I can't augment weapons that I have upgraded past it. It doesn't let me do it. Like, I'm curious about how any of that works. But we'll find out in time. But if there's a healing augment that exists, um, is peak performance still going to be good? Like, as good? Okay, I meant like on a corpse. There we go. Huh, not a track. Just carving it for a monster cane bone. Cool. Not even a higher, not even a master rank material. Is there? Oh, okay. I was about to say, is there any uh, slinger um, torch things around here? It is includes of the effluvia, so you just don't take damage over time. And I'd like that. <laughs> just a giant fucking cut in the wall. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for this. Glavidus is probably one of my favorite monsters in the entire fucking game. So the fact that we get another one is sick. Oh, look at it menacing over the wall. Rah! Green! Green and gray. Oh, it's black and red. Acidic. Hi, Jeros. Oh, call in the army! Ah, uh, so yeah, that's the ship of the tail. Yeah, yeah, now it bites its tail and it literally sharpens it because it's covered in crap. And then it's a nice fucking sharp actual- Like, that is- that looks way more like a sword than even the normal Glamis did, which is ridiculous. Rah! <laughs> fucking Glamis just tearing up shit with all of them. Great Euros is being like, my family, no! You killed my kids, how dare you! Whoa, oh, that was an anime style cut through the body. You just fucking <laughs> end of Virgil 3 to that motherfucker. Alright, and then it grows back. Sup. We have to get our defenses together before Belkana's breath reaches Celiana. Then why are we fighting this thing? <laughs> Also, I still haven't said, what's a variant? Said on your first variant thing when I did, um... Legiana. And then this says, hunt, investigate the subspecies. Gogoron was subspecies. The three I did before clearly weren't variants because they were subspecies, otherwise I would've gotten that trophy before. What's the difference? Is Legiana the only variant? What does variant mean? Like, what is... What's the difference in deli- what's- why bother delineating it as a variant instead of a subspecies? Oh, all the- all the normal Jiros have pierced that Glavinus killed their dad. Punch you in the head a bunch with my knife. That's how words work there. You punch things in the head with a knife. Sling a bomb that I can grab while I'm on you. I didn't realize I can do that. Glavinus is my new raider ride. Okay, you just knock yourself out. You can do that if you like. Don't let me get my shield bash. That's fine. Fuck man. Uh, there we go. Yeah! I think 90 damage, but that's fine. Whoa, okay. Okay. Whoa. I have some form of thing. I don't know what it is. Pick my saddle. Oh, Barry, please. I can't take a Nullberry for it, it's whatever it is. Whoa, okay, calm down. No like fiery massive like thing happening on the end of it, but like it's just a really sharp fucking knife. Which you're attacking with way more. <laughs> that is multiple in a row. Like Lavinus' tail tail was a sword. But like a giant like fire, the sharp tail. That's a fucking knife. It glistens like it's a metal metal edge. Like why? Oh, Glavinus is so fucking sick. It's so cool. 
Look at that! Oh, fuck, I love this one stuff. It's so fucking sick. It's just so sick. It's so goddamn anime. Yeah, get fucking stunned. Yeah, yeah. Ugh! Par paralyzed. I got all the Jiros are just coming in in droves to fucking assist you with this fight. Even though I'm probably accidentally killing some of them as well, and they're probably pissed at me as well. Is there a way that I have killed a number of great Jiros in the past? A number of Jiros, I guess, actually. Fucking god. Yeah, you, you just have a lot of those. Like, look at that! That's like slashing him up from the ground. That's fucking sick. Because so the way your body vibrates as you're growing. Oh no, I was about to say, your body's vibrating as you're growing back your tail. No. Your body was vibrating. I thought you were growing back your tail when you did that. That was not the case. You see, they're still pissed at me. I'm not the one who killed your dad! Dumbasses. I just killed all of the other uncles and aunts that you had. That was different. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get away from these fuckers enough to actually sharpen my weapon before I get to the next thing, am I? You know, I will do that though if I call in a. Can't do it, call in a Raider Ride, never mind. I guess I'm in the middle of combat, so I can't call in a Raider Ride. Can I go down this little split? I called base, I'm in here now, you can't fight me. The Jiros that's following me is just trailing behind because it's so goddamn conflicted. But. You're killing my friends! Like, your cat's cool and I like your cat. But your cat's working for you and you're a dick and you're killing my friends. I don't want to be with you. Fuck you. But still comes along anyway, because it's just like, if I abandon him, if I abandon her right now, I'm playing as a female. I, I forgot that for a second. I was, I was too too busy with the dad metaphor. Um, if I abandon her right now, she's just going to kill me back. So I'll call it. What's up, Glavi? How's it going? Let's do this. There we go. Clear out the area a little bit. It, it clears out way more area than what even the initial explosion looks like. To us. like it really helps a lot. Rah! Oh, you, oh, you're going off the thing like a dummy! I feel like that may actually be the secret sometimes to, do, to doing that. Not waiting for a flinch to clutch claw, but waiting for the end of an attack that you know is gonna like leave that part of the body still for a second. Clutch claw's range is also way. It, the, like, the range of the claw itself keeps being way less than what I think it is. Like, it's not drastic. Like, as I was going, okay. Got it! Head's weak as shit now. If I weaken the head and then throw you into a wall, does the throwing into the wall part do extra damage too? I feel like I should do that right now. Fucking Christ, man, this monster is so fucking sick! Ow. Oh, cool. You realized I was on you, so you did a big jumping attack, so that your entire fucking body was a hitbox. Eh. Fuck. Like, I knocked. I, I flinched it, and then it's just before I get him get the claw out. Nah, it's gone again. Oh, there we go. Ugh! Nice. Nah, it seems to be just general. It's damaging the monster. Oh, it's not, still not like 200 damage that I got from sometimes, but maybe it wasn't a critical hit. Maybe when I've gotten the 200 damage on that ending attack there, it's been a critical hit and I just haven't noticed it. I also know I wig into a head, like that's pretty sick and everything, but um, definitely not the most useful part of you to wig in. Also, just attacking your tail in general seems to be just... I'm pretty sure I was able to attack Glavitus' tail at all and do something. Yeah, attacking your tail at all is just doing nothing. 
Or maybe when it has the crystals on it, or the robes, or whatever they are. They look like they're crystal. It looks like it's crystal based on it being acidic. It's like, it feels like it's meant to be like crystals are either of the effluvia itself, or like some of the poison muck that's down here. That's like sticking to your tail. Fucking Christ, I love that attack. Oh, you even have a follow up on it now. Oh, how do you keep being so fucking sick like this? Um, yeah, maybe while it has that on its tail, it can't. Also, there is some type of deep, deep up that this fucker does, and I don't know what it is. But you're leaving these smoke puddles around, and that's inflicting whatever that triangle is, which I thought was stamina, because your stamina is a little triangle, but... Oh, fucking, you know what it probably is? It's probably defense, actually. If I can't heal it with a Nullberry, it might be defense, it might be defense debuff. Because you heal those by taking an animate seed. That's how that works. So that may maybe that's what it is. Because it's not any blights, because it doesn't have an element to it. And it's not stamina because Well the stuff that affects stamina, you can usually physically see on the stamina bar, and like my stamina's recovering fine. So it's not stamina. Maybe that's what it is. That would make sense as a dynamic for the monster, actually. Its tail has two forms, one that'll knock your defense down, and another... Is that a pathway up there? Oh, yeah, it's in the um, Yeah, its tail has two forms, one that knocks your defense down, and one that makes it do even more attacks that I assume would do more damage. And while the tail's, like, nice and sharp and impressive, it's using it to do all its attacks, is when you can attack it. I keep forgetting that the jump attacks you can't move around on. They all have like basically the same animation for jumping attacks too. They all wind up a little bit getting ready to run. That's what it is. I keep missing it. Nice. Knock <laughs> your fucking ass out. I find it so hard to hit with perfect rush on heads. Like, I want to use it instead of falling back because I'm pretty sure it is better for enemies that are knocked down. Like, unless you can get the falling back to go pretty consistently, it's, it seems like it would be better on monsters that are knocked down, but... I can more consistently hit with falling back on enemies' heads. Which probably just comes from practice so I know the time, like, the distance and everything. And how to, like, angle the next one so I can hit, hit the head easier again. But that just comes from the fact that I played for 400 L. Oh god. Oh god. Run away! Fucking Christ, this monster is so goddamn sick! It's so fucking cool! I love this monster! Oh my god, I just... How is this not the sickest fucking thing in this game? Like, come on. Look at what is happening and tell me that this monster isn't the fucking sickest shit in the world. God damn. Like, maybe not strictly my favorite fight in terms of, like... Dodging its attacks and then responding with attacks and everything like that. It's definitely still up there. I, I love the dynamic of how its attacks works because it attacks with not ranged attacks, but physical attacks that still have a very wide reach for the monster without the monster moving. Or the monster just shakes, like, just throws its entire body forward with it. Like, it's a fun fight to, like, watch the animations for it, move out of the way for it, and then attack it. Being Zorn Shield so often and its shape being. Like T Rex, um, Brute Wyvern, where it's like two big legs and then just the rest of its body sits so elevated above that, does make it like I'm typically not as much of a fan of those fights. Not because I think like the monsters are worse because of that shape, but it absolutely makes uh, Sword and Shield harder to do because it just elevates the head up so much. Like even Elder Dragons. Elder Dragons don't lift up their heads that much because their bodies like. Their legs aren't anywhere near as big as Brute Wyverns are. Also, I'm down to some fucking potions. Um... If you, you have pull-ups right now. You have even more sword fucking attacks. It's so sick. Um... Like, Elder Dragons, what, um... Bodies aren't lifted so much above their heads. And most of their bodies like a slim through line that's just above, like, the legs or anything like that. Where the shape of a Brute Wyvern lifts its head up way above it. Even flying wyverns, for the most part, their heads closer to the um, the ground when they're on the ground. They're in the air, so they're in the but for brute wyverns, it's consistent. 
The head is above the ground. That makes it harder to hit with sword and shield. And also because it's just above the body where their legs are and everything, it typically moves around a lot compared to other, um, compared to other things. Well, I, again, I don't think that the shape of a body of a brute wife. Why am I in combat? Are those two trying to fight me? Fuck off. I want to go to camp. Can I get to camp from this side? Or is that the camp that's above me? No, it's the camp that's here. Can I get to that from here? I don't think I can. I think Shit, man, fuck. <laughs> I actually don't think I can. I don't think I can get up there from here. I've been around the other way before, but... Fuck. Jeros, I need you to fuck off. How is it still qualifying as in combat? They're so far away. Piss the dick off, assholes. Let me travel back to camp. If I run down that way, I'm gonna have to fight Glavinus. I'm not doing that on two damn potions. I'm getting mad, man. <laughs> I'm running over to where they are. Maybe that counts as base again. I wonder if I can grab one of these buddies. Like, because I lost one of the other ones? You are fucking kidding me. I'm not in combat. There's nothing around me that wants to fight me. Nothing even knows I'm fucking here. Let me fast travel, you fuckface. Ugh, that's why I need fast casters. To be fair, I don't, I don't think I've seen this problem be this bad for this prolonged of a time. I'm not fighting Glavinus on one potion. Fuck off. Oh my god, go away. Why? Why are you like this? Why are you just this absolutely fucking stubborn? It- there's not- they're not here! They're not fucking here! Oh my god! Oh, this is irritating. How far away do you want me to go? Do you want me to kill these fuckers? Here, look! I'll get out of combat! I'll show you not in fucking combat! Kill all of them! Way to go. Like, I think it's actually bugged out. I don't know, maybe Glavinus killed the ones that were actually after me, and because of that, it's just constantly counting me as in combat. Yeah, no, it's fucking bugged out. Fuck you! Oh my god. This is irritating. Well, we've dawdled for so long that Glavinus is no longer in the same fucking spot. Has it been you two? Is it you? Is it you fuck faces? Did you do that? Did you break my lamp? Did you wake me up? Assholes. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm leaving. Going to camp. I'm getting my things. To fight. Acidic Glavinus for four seconds before it's at death percent, and then I can just oh, I can just fucking cast, create a fire cast. Good enough. Actually, probably not with that view. I'm mad right now. <laughs> like, come on! Not in combat. If I leave this tent, and it still so shows I'm in combat, I'm gonna shit on someone's testicles. And I'm gonna make them pay double what I would normally charge someone to do that. Also, perfect timing to come back. I actually filled out my entire inventory. 
I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna have red on there and I'm gonna be pissed. Thank God! So I don't have enough in me to actually shit on someone's testicles. That's... First part of it wasn't too bad. That part was just an unnecessary detail. Oh, now I can go this way. Now I can pass this metric aura and get all the bonus extras from it. Ah, <laughs> uh, such a petty winger sometimes. It's fine, and by that I mean I have no other ideas for commentary when I'm doing it, so I resort to it. Where it's just, huh? I'm out of things to talk about. The topic that I came up with that I started talking about that I didn't listen to anyone else on because I'm the only one talking. I ran out of interesting things to say about it. What am I to start fucking bitching about just whatever happens? Is the video game not catering everything to me in absolutely every single way possible? Is there any level of, hey, I actually have to fucking try something right now that's in front of me? Well, what have I just complained about today? Or at least, you know. That's what people assume that I do because my personality online says anything negative about a video game. And if you're a person who says anything negative about a video game, then you're just an SJW cuck who can't handle tough video games. Despite the large history of tough video games that I have on the channel, I'll be doing, and then make some of my favorite games for me loving. Ow. That's the dynamic with this game that's different. Whereas it's like, this game is nowhere near as hard as some other games that I've done on the channel. But, you know. I'm a lot worse at this game compared to those other ones, so, you know. I should really stop trying to weaken your face. It doesn't make sense. Nice. Oh. Like, that's basically like, oh no, I can't flash one thing. You know what I can do, though? Grab onto a monster, throw it into a wall, create a knockdown, and in the process of also creating that knockdown for a free combo opening. To do like a combo opening where I can do whatever the fuck I want. I also do like a couple hundred damage. Like, fuck, man. I wonder. The damage of sending a monster creating into a wall. Does that scale with your weapon at all? I mean, it shouldn't. You're using Clutch Claw and, um, Sling up for it, so I can't imagine it should. But also, it would be like if mounting attacks did the same damage for everything, um, everything, there'd be less, like, there'd be less incentive to something creating into a wall if the actual damage did less. Like, compared to, like, 500 damage for a sword shield's a fucking lot of damage! Uh -huh. Well, like 500 damage to say a great sword is as big a deal. I mean, the knockdown is still a huge fucking deal for those weapons on top of them. It's not that it's a bad thing. Or, uh, wow, you're so enraging. You don't even care about bomb bullets hitting you. That's fucking impressive. Um, and I'm s I played so much base game with my rebellion so that I am not used to mega potions healing as much as they do because I also had just recovering all the medicine decorations in that. Um, you like, 500 damage is a big amount for Sword of Shield, but for other weapons it may not be as much. But there's nothing about using the weapon, uh, about knocking him into a wall that implies that you're using anything with the weapon to do. And the knockdown, like if a weapon does more damage, then the knockdown's more valuable in terms of that, so... I mean, even with other weapons, 500, like damage before a knockdown is nothing to balk at. That's still a lot of fucking damage. Just it means a lot more to other weapons and others. Scrap all these footprints you left around. So many of them. You know, fucking max out your research level after this thing. Probably not true, but I might get to level two, honestly. That is definitely possible. Okay, so. Didn't even, like, change anything or, like, Heal up my shit. By that I mean sharpen between fights. Cause I'm just like, yeah, you're so close that it just counts as the same as fight. So easy collecting tracks that I forgot to collect the sharpening on the thing. Urgh. I was doing way better than you before. I feel like now I'm clumsy and hit, missing a lot of hits and getting hit by a lot of stuff. 
Is it because I'm assuming you're close to the death, so I, I can be more reckless? Maybe. Are you close to the death? Well, I mean, you still walked here fine. You won't hobble in here. So clearly, you're doing fine now. Speaking of. Fucking speaking of. I'm gonna hit you in the face. I guess it would make sense if what that is is defense down. And because I've used a lot of potions, it's like, yeah, maybe because the attacks are a little bit more damage. Because I'm constantly on defense down. Because no berry can't change that. Okay, please get up so I can actually do things to you. Thank God! <laughs> Yay! Woo -woo -woo! Four monsters in one video! Also have species, but hell yeah! Successfully hunted! Fuck Amazing yeah. Work. Hey Tigrex, I'm wearing your I'm wearing your body right now. Sup? Na 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 na. I'm a bunch of back. <laughs> I'm wearing your body. Yeah, quest complete. Best quest complete screen. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, God Glavinus is so fucking sick. Also, yeah, that one really took the longest out of all of them. Oopsies. The one I tried, I, it's okay. I did four and it was only just over two hours. I think I did three in the last video and it was just, like, just about an hour 40. And one of those was repelling Golgana, not even a full fucking fledged fight. So it's fine. Anyway, this video is still not going to end for like another 20 fucking minutes. So there'll probably be some cutscenes when we go back. And also, more importantly, so many armor sets to check out. I'm going to check out the stuff with the Palico. I haven't done that for a while. Fence Guard Constitution. Probably use all this up there. Um, I haven't checked out the Palico armor for like the last five or six monsters that I've hunted, I'm pretty sure. Hey, I've already captured 50 monsters in Master Rank Quest. I just try and capture everything. There's bounties for hunting and capturing things, so if I have, like, hunt three monsters, capture three monsters, then it's two bounties in one, baby. Or even if it's just, like, if I get a capture one of a certain, t like, species of wyvern, or a certain type of wyvern, I should say, then I try and also get a hunt one of that, and vice versa, because then it, you're just clearing out multiple things at once. I don't know whether it's better for the rewards that I'm getting off the stuff currently, but also I don't know what rewards I want off the stuff currently, and I can't even tell, because my monster guide ain't filled in with that stuff. So that ain't matter either. Take a drink. Okay. Ah. Lime Cordial. Zeliana's new defenses have arrived safely. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't come to the rescue. You have my thanks. Final preparations underway on the Dragon Razor. Is that an upgraded version of the Dragonator we used when fucking Zora Magdaros? That feels a bit overkill on the... Like Zora Magdaros was a giant fucking thing. We used cannons and everything. I feel like a Dragonator on that's a bit overkill. I mean, it's a Dragonator in the special arena, so fair enough. Alright. There have already been sightings just outside Teliana's gates. We don't have much Listen time. Our mission now is to drive Velkana back and protect Teliana. Phase one is to distract or bind Velkana to stall for time until that Dragon Razor is finished. Okay, the only thing protecting the Dragon Razor and Teliana are you hunters and a barricade. Is this going to be a Zora Magdaros quest? And we hit Velkana and force it to retreat with the Dragon Razor. Okay. Once it's fully built, you need to load fuel into the Dragon Razor before it can okay. be fired. Okay. Everyone is there to save a skeleton crew will be shipping out to Celiana. Snakes couldn't be much higher. Let's make this mission a success. The defense the of Celiana. And the burner in my heart's cooking at full blast. Let's keep Celiana safe, pard. Yeah, well I'm, de well, I'm definitely going to save that for the next episode. That sounds like a big, dramatic moment. And yeah, everything's been... So I like how every time we do a quest, we're carrying fiddles between the places. Also, it's just been so many goddamn quests since we've actually, like, consistently seen fiddles. Because he hasn't been to Celiana. He doesn't run up to me immediately when I go into places anymore. Which is... Like, a little upsetting. Like, a little bit. Anyway, before we go... Uh, before we do anything, I'm just going to go back to Celiana. Just don't want to be there, but... Before we end the episode, next episode could be Defense of Celiana and the seemingly like a siege mission against Vulcana, which is not what I was expecting. I guess the idea is Vulcana's grown like more powerful because of its snow ice armor that it has now. So we're gonna fight it back even more. Before that moment comes, on the next episode, we're gonna look at some armor. Because there's probably so much deliciousness 
There, I say as I rub my hand over my body and my currently developing tits and my giant fat fucking stomach because I've put on so much goddamn weight since I started working four minutes from home and ten seconds from a food court that has a bunch of variety in it with most places me liking. You want to know the secret technique? The secret trick to going on HRT if you're doing feminizing hormones? If you're overweight... Wait till the tits develop, and then all the fat can go to there, and then you can lose the weight, and hopefully you lose it from everywhere else and not the tits. Secret technique, but I don't know if it works, but, um, that's what I'm trying, and by trying, I mean I keep not focusing enough on trying to lose weight by sticking to the diet plan that I've set out for me that would totally work if I just stuck to it, because, like, it's fine. Um, but I just don't stick to it, because burritos are fucking great. Um, yo, hike you go. Ice proof mantle. I feel like I should do that before. Oh, cool! Both them at once. Nice. I feel like I should do that before I fight Volcano and actually take an um, Ice Mantle there, because that would make sense. That would make sense to do. That's where the armor was, not where the fucking Terror Raider Safari is. Check here. Was that to finish building the Dragon Razor mid quest? You're buying us time till then. All right, let's have a look at some new motherfucking armor. And yes, I will check out weapons as well. Weapons are not, usually not as interesting as armor, but they can still they still can be interesting. What is down here? A oh, Fulgur engine app. P a PSP, the engine app. Rarity 11. All right, okay. First, before we do anything. Uh, oh, I already have default color on. Perfect, okay. All right, what does Fulgur engine app? Do we get push-up bras? We still get a push-up bra. But I'll admit the coloring of it brings the, out the look together a hell of a lot more than the other one did. That cape is ridiculous and flashy, and I love it. We still get a push-up bra, though. Like, it's still literally a push-up bra, because the boobs do not look like that with any other set. How? Is that just a different color? It is literally just a different color, but it actually pulls it together way more. I think it's the stripes, honestly. I think it's the stripes make the color dynamic work way more. Still not a fan of the push-up bra, because it's literally just fucking push-up bra. Weakness exploit and resuscitate. Um... Uh, Flinch free stun resistance. Engine has dominant stamina cap up. Nice. Uh, is that the same one on there? It is, yeah. Uh, item prolonger, thunder, thunder attack, weakness exploit, item prolonger. Oh, fuck. Doesn't get rid of item prolonger. Gets rid of one little weakness exploit. Not helpful. Uh, that could be a decent headpiece, depending. Just don't feel like you get as, as many skills out of it. Nothing impressive there. Well, it's rarity 11, so we're now actually getting up to the rarity 11 stuff. Shrieking Legiano. Uh, what color difference is there? Oh, it's like a different. It's actually a different. Oh, it adds. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on. Instead of a cape, we get fucking wings. What the fuck? Okay, the rest of the arm is the same. The same. The cape becomes wings, and the helmet is different. The helmet's actually totally different. We have fucking wings on it. What the fuck? That's sick. And that one goes to... Ooh, I kind of like that. Instead of a single cape, having the double cape there. And that helmet is nice. The chin trap's a bit weird, but I actually really like the ears on that one. All right. The fucking wings on this one, though. Holy shit. That's fucking radical. Uh, hunger resistance, evade extender, and a bunch of slots. I mean, first time I've said hunger resistance, I don't think in a while, except for maybe Tiger X, and even that, I don't think so. Focus marathon runner. This is all bow stuff. Like, just keep your stats up. Although, is focus to do with bows? Reduces charge times. I guess that kind of applies to the bow. Critical draw, hunger resistance, may extend a focus, marathon runner spread shot. Nothing I'd use, except for maybe the focus part um, for switch axe. Wait, no, that's charge times. Oh, and fuel rate, and fuel rate is better. Eh, maybe. Death Garon! Okay, it's just the black variant of that. Still looks sick though. Um, Latent Power Tool Specialist. Critical Eye Dragon Resistance. That's a lot there. Uh, I guess I'll get through to one of each in terms of. In, in re re return for getting a bit more slots. Power Prolonger Dragon Attack. Dragon Attack Latent Attack. See, so this is what I have because it's two Critical Eye and those two slots there. You can get that with Speed Sharpening, but I wasn't going to spec enough into Speed Sharpening to worry about it. I mean, that level of Critical Eye there is good. 
It depends on how you mix it with other things. Like, there are some bases where you can just tell immediately, it's like, oh, that's it. That's going to be a fucking sick set. And then there are some where it's just like, that has potential. You just got to find the right things to mix it with. And I see the Glavinous. Yup, fucking looks like Glavinous, but what is it? Different color scheme. Not actually much changing there. But Glavinous's armor still looks radical. I still love it because it's the spiky look without getting in the way, and it fits the motif of the monster real fucking well. Um, and also, like, the anime, basically, um, Gurren Lagan headpiece, because it's the two, the two different things in different shapes. Maximum Might, Effluvia Resistance. Interesting. Uh, Handicraft, Stamina Surge. I feel like that could be a good thing, depending on the set. Uh, Sun Resistance, Handicraft. Ooh. Ooh, that is basically the Barra of Greaves, but an arm piece instead. Ooh, that could work really well into some things. Ooh, that's nice. That's tasty. Also, it's maximum might, so always good. Handicraft. Anything with handicraft can has the potential to be fucking sick. And maximum might, stamina surge. I mean, stamina surge might work well for um for that. Speed up stamina recovery, maximum might. Especially considering if you get this, where level five is makes it function like it used to, but with ten more affinity. Yeah, nothing that immediately stands out there. All the designs are basically like outside of the wings, so there's nothing super surprising for that. Um. But there's, there's definitely potential in some of those things. Laguna Blossom, Icicle Spike, New Legiana stuff, Hall Cry Rhyme Spire, uh, Blue Moon Nightmare, Extra Naga Cougar stuff, Bone Tree, Red Upon, Acidic Glavinous Tree. Well, we can't say what that looks like yet because it still looks like a basic fucking weapon right now. So, never mind. Even, oh, even the full level Glavinous ones. Just looks like a basic fucking bitch weapon. Okay. Full Garanginath actually looks kind of cool with the, the change to the coloring of it. Um, and it doesn't have negative affinity. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. This damage drops a little bit. Holy fucking shit, it doesn't have negative affinity. Oh my fucking god. That's the biggest fucking deal in the world right there. How many more trees are there to find on this? Because I feel like we have most of them. Can I get this yet either? No, I can't. I can't upgrade the last one again. Um, okay, so there's one tree there. Two. There's two trees left before we start getting to the um, dragon stuff. Uh, which there's two there. Okay. I'm not going to worry about looking at all the other weapons. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here because this has gone on for a very long time, this episode. Next episode, the defense of Celiana. Where we'll defend Sally on oh, no, That was just what a fucking wet part and ending. Um, <laughs> so until then, this is version two. Wait, no, fuck, sorry. Video's still got like five minutes to go. Sorry, we forgot to look at the Palico stuff. I keep forgetting. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry, this is version two not signing out. This is version two is a fucking more. Who gets to get a look at all the shit? Because some of the shit is fucking sick. Rathalo says so many sets. It's Rathalos, Legiana, it's Legiana, Odogaron, it's Odogaron, which is horrifying. Uragon, oh, that's the actual horrifying one, Brachdeos, yes, yes, just put fucking whole cans on him, I love that, I love that, that's fucking ridiculous, I love it, <laughs> just looks like a fucking wrestler with a belt and giant fucking Hulk fist, that's fucking awesome. Hell yeah, Tigrex. Ah, looks cool. Shrinking set. Whoa. That's so different. That's so fucking different. That's a ridiculously different, actually. I love the headpiece on that. Two giant ears on top of the normal ears. Turn your cat into a full on fucking cat girl. Rabbit girl, I guess. I don't know how you use your hands in that, though. That looks like steel just capped in place. That doesn't feel comfortable. Gajalaka. Gajalaka. Huh. No others for like the other types of Adogarons or anything. Oh, look at Glavinus. Oh, yeah, I did too, yeah. Yeah, giant fucking spikes everywhere. The sword. The sword is where the fucking sickness happens there. I kind of want to make this one. Yeah, what is yeah, what does the body look like with different headpieces? What's well, like an elegant headpiece that matches that? I'd say I'd say that body could go well with the Kieran one. 
that I just have in the, like the in the base game, all the current stuff that I have on you. Uh, nothing in particular standing out is working super well with the body there, but hey, you may look different next episode if I'm gonna make you look like that. Like I love the outfit that now, and that's not even the same armor set. It looks like it should be, but it's not. Okay, now we've actually done everything. On the next episode is the defense of Celiana. So until then, this is version two, signing out.